It is September 27th. I am out on the prairie looking for some antelope. Me and David Shue both have uh, rifle antelope tags. Uh, season opens tomorrow. Just kind of cruising around, checking out some public, seeing if we see anything to kind of go after for tomorrow. It's supposed to be kind of a crappy day tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining all day. Maybe that'll keep some people in their vehicles and less hunters out in the field, so we'll see. But we got Saturday and Sunday antelope hunting here on the prairie and then headed to the hills with Travis uh, for his elk tags. So um, hopefully they got a big boy spotted by the time I get there on Sunday night or Monday and got the good luck stash for good luck for the two hunts. And don't have to be back to civilization for 10 days. So said what the hell, you know. All right, well, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully we find some goats for tomorrow. Over now. Ended up spotting a group way out here. Oh, it looks like one pretty decent buck. Just got a phone with Dave. He hasn't found anything yet, so. Seen a few other hunters out driving around, but I'll see if I can get zoomed in on this guy. Get him marked on Onyx and head on to the next one. Well, there is a lot of hunters out. Not a lot of goats on public from what I've seen so far. Found a couple of groups. One really nice buck right here and another, another good buck, but they are about 300 yards on the wrong side of the fence. Maybe tomorrow they'll be on public, so you never know when people start chasing them around. I met up with Dave. He didn't really see much either. Mainly hunters and we just hiked back in over this ridge. Half a mile back in there, I suppose. Like, kind of over a hill, so you can't really see what's back there. Um, so we went back there. Did spot a group. I don't know, they're probably another mile at least. Back in there, there's eight of them. So I'm just kind of assuming that there's a buck in there. Hopefully. Yeah, fingers crossed. But I think that's going to be our game plan for the morning. Uh, get up here and get to the top of the ridge and kind of glass right away in the morning and hopefully pick up the group right away and get back in there before all the other hunters do. So see what happens. Talk to you in the morning. Good luck tomorrow. You too, buddy. It is September 28th. We just got out here to the gravel. It looks like a state highway. Orange everywhere. Past three pickups so far and the one in front of us is just shuttling people down the road. So yeah, we got a few more miles until we get to the spot we're planning on parking and hopefully nobody's there. Just gonna get in there and see if we can find them and hopefully we can get a shot off. And Shoot straight. up here on the ridge that we glassed a big group of antelope up last night. We haven't seen them yet. We'll turn them up here soon. So yeah, good stuff. We 
We just spotted them. Pretty close to the same area they were last night, but just a long ways over there yet. They're about a mile and a half, I suppose. So we are gonna get down in this drainage. We got a little drainage we can work with to close the distance quite a bit. So see if we can get one put down here before this storm hits. Good luck, buddy. Two men. <sighs> <sighs> Roller coaster ride. Jesus. Oh, that was nuts. Yes, got her done. Oh my goodness. It was crazy. The wind's howling. We got a storm that's building out here. Snuck on this antelope. We actually saw some that were like two miles away as we were sneaking along there. This guy pops up with about six does. And I shot and I hit him high. Then we came along and I shot. And I missed. Then we popped up here again and I got him on the second shot. It was a pretty good hit, so. Yeah, you hit him good second shot. I'm excited, first antelope I've ever killed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they kind of surprised us walking down that draw this morning. Yeah, they just popped up out of nowhere. Heck yeah. Man, there's a lot of hunters out. Oodles, oodles of guys out. Public wow. land. Yep. Right up there he is. Day's first antelope. Let's go check him out. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> First antelope ever. <sighs> Chased these things around a few times with the bow in hand. It's been a few years, but we finally got it done with the rifle out here on the public land. Lots of hunters around. I couldn't be happier. My only guess is why we got one so early this morning is because of this. The stash. Dun dun dun. <laughs> one more to go. <laughs> we just got them broke down, got them quartered out, and thrown in a game bag. And we are ready to get loaded up chase some more. We got one more up and over this hill. Uh, hopefully he's still down in the valley with the group of 
the does, but we'll see. Otherwise, we'll haul this one to the cooler and check another area. pack up here in these trees and that other group we just spotted them they're still bedded in that draw looks like we should be able to get into a pretty good position come right over top of a ridge and make a shot at them so, stay tuned how's that how's that heavy pack oh it's great best feeling in the world again the antelope herd that we've seen should be just right over the top of this ridge. So you should be able to get up top here and hopefully make a shot down the him. Buddy, nice shot. We, we spotted this goat yesterday evening uh, for scouting for opening day today. We've seen this group about two miles back in this walking area. We were going after him this morning along with 50 other groups of people and ended up spotting uh, Dave's group. We went after him, got him down and quartered him out, left him down at the bottom of the draw and we seen this group was still up here so we made a plan and at first I don't know he's probably at 400 so we belly crawls 200 200 feet I suppose was a ways and got to about 250 to 300 so I just put 200 reticle on his back and made a good shot he's down so we can go back and get our packs and walk up there to him Yeah, this is my first antelope since high school, I think. It's been a while, so it's been pretty fun getting to come out here with Dave. We've been talking about this for years, uh, getting out here to try to do some antelope hunting. We both got drawn this year and able to make it out week opening weekend. Got it done. It's 10 o'clock right now, so two antelope down before 10 o'clock. And one of them's already deboned. Uh, we got about two and a half ish miles back out of here. So it's just now starting to sprinkle. It's supposed to start raining at eight o'clock this morning. So we've been pretty fortunate so far. But yeah, pretty pretty fun morning. Both tagging out before 
over 10. So.